Okay, uh, I got something kind of fun for you today. Um, if you uh, if you're watching this channel at all, uh, you know that I am a big fan of dishware. I love dishes. Um, Fiesta is one of my favorites. Um, like Pyrex, Jadeite, pretty much everything. But one of the ones we discovered, it's a new one. Uh, I mean, not new, new to us. I know it's been around for quite a while, but it's Emma Bridgewater. Uh, it's a UK-based uh, company, and they make all sorts of pottery and things. And then they also have uh, housewares, accessories, stuff like that. But um, we really like their pottery. And so we've gotten uh, a few a few pieces now, and I thought I'd kind of show some to you. Now, it started off um, basically with the Great British uh, Baking Show. Uh, we saw one of these, uh, not like this one, they had like a mixing bowl of this polka that. And so it took us forever to figure out like who made it. And then we found out it was Emma Bridgewater. And so started collecting these. This is a medium serving bowl. And then uh, it's like a, it's a platter. So both in the polka dot. And these are all hand um, I don't know, well, made. Like I don't know if all these are handmade. I think they are. But I know like all the glazing is. And then we added some coffee mugs here. Along with a few other items or tea, I say coffee or tea. And one of the things we like is that they have a lot of different kinds of designs. Like some of them here, you see this one's a Union Jack. It's got like little pennants inside. They had a, a few they did for the Queen. So, I'll show you this one. So you see Queen Elizabeth II right there. We had this one. It says on the inside, you know, Queen and Country Woman, Elizabeth. So you can't do that. The second there. You see, it's got her walking all her pooches. This is the one my wife was really quite fond of, especially the corgis. She loves corgis. Even though we got a Scottish Terrier, she still loves corgis. And then we got a couple of these ones because she loves the Cotswolds. It's her dream to go there and visit someday. So we got that one. And then we got uh, this Cornwall one because that's where my family is from originally. Uh, I said they were uh, miners in Cornwall. So let's sit there and see that one. And then I just got uh, this piece. This is a planter. It's called Lovebirds. I got it for us. So we are just a couple of lovebirds. And I thought that was really kind of cool. And uh, one of the things too is like if you get into it enough, uh, they have a collector's club, which is uh, you can uh, pay for it. Uh, I think it's like $19. Or if you order $150 worth of stuff, you get it uh, automatically. And so this is a collector's club piece. So this is only for people that belong to the collector's club. And so this is one of the things too, like a lot of other places sell their things, get on Amazon, get at other, uh, other areas too, or other websites. But, um, if you go right to Emma Bridgewater, there'll be a U.S. version, like a, I think it's Emma, a U.S. Emma Bridgewater, I'll link to it below. Um, but you can see the collector's things, but you have to be part of the, a member of that collector's club to get it. And then one of the things I was talking about is they also had like housewares and stuff. And so I picked up some of these. Uh, beeswax wraps because I use these for my sandwich uh, every day for work. I said I bring my lunch to work every day and um, I use beeswax wraps and the ones I've been using are kind of getting a bit dingy so we thought I'd get some new ones and like I said these are like I said see, these are made in the UK or Britain and then we also got some of these buntings. We got the, the coronation coming up here in a, in a week and so we thought these would be kind of fun to have. And these, like I said, are actually made in Germany. And so it is one of the things, like a lot of their uh, tins, uh, enamelware, boxes, things like that, are made in various countries. I've seen um, China, I think, like Poland, uh, Portugal, like a few other ones too. So they have it all under the like specifics on their website. So if you look, um, it'll tell you where everything is made, which is really nice. So like I said, these are Germany, these are UK, and all the dishes are UK, like the actual like pottery. And uh, let's sit there and see, it's uh, so like on this one, like said, this one we just got in. So it's made in Stoke-on-Trent in England. And that's cool, so anyway, so this is kind of our new thing. We're starting to 
kind of think about uh, getting rid of some of our other dishes. Um, like I said, we're going to keep like probably like a, the main line of Fiesta because especially that kind of stuff goes good with this um, polka dot, which we both quite like. And, you know, we kind of like the coffee um, or tea mugs and things and, you know, get some of these additional items. But for the most part, uh, we're probably going to get like plates and things like that in the future. But uh, anyway, I said we had no idea this even existed. Um, and my sister now is into it as well. And we got some things from my mom for uh, Mother's Day. So I think she will like it. And uh, it's just, I don't know, it's fun stuff and it's really cute. So like I said, you can get any, like I said, they do a lot of patterning stuff. Um, like I said, a lot of like these more like landscape things too. They do all sorts of like Halloween like things. Like this was for like Valentine's Day. So I got all the hearts and stuff on there. So anyway, uh, I would say check it out. Uh, if you like dishes, uh, you like dishware, it's like I said, it's, it's quickly going to become an addiction. It is a, a serious website. And like I said, I just, uh, I said, I just love it. And so, so does my wife, like we both do. And so, yeah. So anyway, I thought it'd be kind of fun. It's something that I'm sure a lot of you already know about, but I said, we are maybe a bit behind the times, but Emma Bridgewater and all her lovely made in England pottery and all her lovely housewares. So anyway, that's it for today. Thanks. Bye.